This video will demonstrate how to create your own reports using the Ad Hoc Reports section. First, open the Reports menu. Then click on the Ad Hoc Reports option. The Ad Hoc Reports window will open. To access the Report Builder, click on the Home tab at the top left of the screen. Then select Custom Report Models and select the model that you want to run your report on. Click the drop down and select Load in Report Builder. To start building your report, first right click on the Data Sets option on the left of the screen. Then select Add Data Set. Click Use Data Set embedded in my report and then use the drop down for Data Source to select the Accounts module again. Click the Query Designer to start building your query. First, select the fields you want to include on your report. Use the list here on the left and double click to add in the field you want to use. For example, select Billing Type. For this report, I'm going to use the Billing Type, the Total Fee and the User Build Against to create a summary of charges for each clinician. I'm also going to include a date range filter on this report. To add filters, click on the filter option at the top of the screen here. Again, you can select from a list of fields on the left hand side. I'm going to select billing date for this report. Double click to add it as a filter. To make this filter a prompt when you run the report, right click on the filter and select prompt. Then right click on the equals option to switch to on or after a certain date. Enter in a particular date here. Then add another billing date option as a prompt and select on or before. This will allow you to fill in a date range when running the report. You can add in as many other filters as you need. For example, to add in a patient type, you can select in a list so that you can choose a particular patient type when running the report. Click OK to close the filter screen and then click OK to save your query. Now you can begin to build your report. First, add a title for the report. Next, click on Insert to insert data onto your report. There are a few different options here. You can choose table to put in a list of patients or data, or you can also insert a graph from here. For this report, I'm going to choose the matrix option. Click the drop down and select matrix wizard. On this screen, double click on the data set one option. Next, you can arrange the fields on your matrix. Click and drag your fields into the relevant row or group options. The value section must contain a field with a value in it. In this example, I'm using the total fee charged. Click Next to continue. Click Next again and then Finish to exit. Now you can make any changes to the layout of your report. Click and drag columns in your report to make any changes. You should also modify your date parameters before you begin. In the Parameters section, right click on your parameter and select Properties and change your data to a date time option. Click OK to save. Repeat this process for the other date parameter. You can do a trial run of your report by clicking on the run button here. This will let you test the report before you save it. When the report opens, fill in your parameters and then click view report. You can check for any mistakes you've made or any changes you need to make to the report. In this example, I want to show these amounts as a currency field. Click on the Design button to go back and make changes. To make the required change, right-click on the field and select Text Box Properties. Select the Number option and then select Currency. Click OK to save. Repeat this process for any other fields that are necessary. When you've made all your changes, click the Run option again to check your report once more. Once you're happy with the report, go back to the Design option. To save your report, click the Save option here. Select the Custom Reports folder. All reports should be saved in here. Rename the report as needed and click Save. Once the report is saved, you can close the report. Your report is now saved in the Custom Reports section of the Ad Hoc Reports. 
To run your report going forward, click on the Ad Hoc Reports option. Select the Custom Reports list and then click on the report you want to run. Fill in the details as needed, such as date fields and patient type. To view the report, click the View Report option. Your report can then be exported to a number of formats. To export a report, click the Export button here. Select the Excel option to export as an Excel spreadsheet. The report will open as an Excel spreadsheet. Click the Print option to print.